Lisa, well, it's been, it was a tumultuous uh, year, that 2021, for you folks. Uh, it's a brand new year here. What are the priorities for the Métis Nation of BC? Um, we, we have a lot um, that we've done in the past year, even regarding uh, COVID. So we're going to continue working on those. We're currently working on a Métis Nation Equity and Reconcil Reconciliation Accord with the provincial government. We continue to work with the federal government on our self-governing agreement. And that's with the full support of Métis National Council and the three other governing members at that time at this time. So we're, we're very happy to have their support and be able to move forward in, in a bit more of a, a, a quicker fashion. We are behind a bit uh, from the other uh, governing members, but we will be catching up very soon. Uh, Métis Nation BC is the only uh, Métis government in British Columbia. And um, I just want to, to make that very clear. There are other, are, are other Métis organizations, but Métis Nation BC is the government of Métis people in, in British Columbia mm -hmm. and recognized by both the federal and provincial governments. Mm -hmm. Um, we were, I just wanted to ask too, you know, this is certainly, uh, you know, I think that Métis people uh, are, you know, across the country are fed up with a lot of the fighting that uh, we see within the Métis Nation. Certainly onlookers in this country who aren't Métis must be looking at this uh, with a lot of confusion. So how do you see the Métis Nation moving on uh, from all of this, you know, united? Um. We, we are working well at the Métis National Council level. Uh, we've had several meetings already, and we look forward to continuing that working relationship uh, moving forward. Uh, with Métis Nation BC, we are doing a, a campaign for citizenship, trying to encourage as many people as, as we can mm. to uh, start the application process for their citizenship card. We have 90,000 self-identified Métis in British Columbia, and currently our registry, we have 22,000 citizens. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to bring as many Métis people home as we can um, to our nation. Is the, and, is the uh, citizenship requirements that you have in the Métis Nation of BC, are those the same uh, requirements that say, you know, the Manitoba Métis Federation would have, or MNC, you know, I'm just, I'm curious what your, um, the, the citizenship requirements would be for you guys, if they're the same as everybody's, or if they're different in some way? Ours is the same as the uh, other three governing members, meaning Alberta, um, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. Uh, all, all of us, all four of our governments, we regularly run our uh, citizenship list through the Indian registry to ensure that people aren't um, actually res registered First Nations. Um, it, I'm under the uh, impression, and um, I've recently been told Manitoba does not do that. They do not run their citizenship through the Indian registry. Mm -hmm. um, we we have a very solid registry. We've been known as one of the, one of the most solid registries in 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 the um, out of the governing members for years. We've mm -hmm. had um, other registry um, staff work with our registry staff to see how we do things. Uh, we're very proud of our registry and. Um, very proud to say that we're, we're compliant with all the requirements. You, you, I do know, sorry, go ahead, finish. Um, I do know that um, Manitoba Métis Federation in their recent self-governing agreement, uh, one of the clauses states that you cannot be registered with another provincial Métis uh, government. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm not sure how they're going to comply with that. Um, I know they have signed up a few people in British Columbia, but I'm not sure how they're going to comply with their own uh, federal self-governing agreement. Um, because um, t to date, I've, I haven't heard of any, um, anybody reach out to our registry to see if that, um, a, a citizen is uh, registered with us and MMF. So um, I'm curious to see how that's going to um, um, play out and how they're going to be in compliance with their own um, federal agreement. Interesting. Well, uh, Lisa, we thank you for joining us today. Give us a little insight into what's, uh, what's cooking over in the Métis Nation of British Columbia for 2022. Happy New Year to you. Thank you.